This morning, families across America in the path of totality. We're all ready to go. 15 states from Texas to Maine setting out to witness the total solar eclipse. You guys ready for the eclipse? Yeah! We're coming from from Florida, so that way we can see the solar eclipse because it's once in a lifetime. They made it to Dallas, so we're in the path of totality. But what exactly will they see, and how does it happen? Dr. Jedida Eisler is an astrophysicist and National Geographic explorer. A solar eclipse is when the moon moves between the sun and the earth, and its shadow is cast on us. That shadow is pure cosmic coincidence, and it happens because the sun is about 400 times larger than the moon. The sun is also 400 times farther away, making the two appear the same size. This means the moon completely covers the sun during a total solar eclipse, with only the sun's outer atmosphere, the corona, visible from Earth. One cool difference between the 2017 eclipse and the one that we're going to see now is that the moon is closer to the Earth, so it's going to cast a larger shadow. So both totality will be longer and the actual path will be almost double what it was in 2017. This time, that shadow is about 123 miles wide on the ground, moving at a speed of nearly 2,000 miles per hour. The closer you are to that center line, right through the middle of that shadow, the longer you'll be in complete darkness. In some places, it will last up to 4 minutes, 28 seconds. Nearly 32 million Americans live in the path of 100% totality. But look at how far the eclipse spreads in both directions. That means hundreds of millions of Americans today will see some version of this eclipse. Part of this is, it's the magic of the eclipse. Part of it's about family and being together for a special event.